Hello everybody, welcome back. In today's video, I am sharing some more things with you that I am really loving right now. I have everything from skincare, of course, to believe it or not, another skincare tool. I also have some clothing, some entertainment, so this should be a fun video. If you're new here, I'm Claudia. I am really happy you're here. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I realized I have really been neglecting the skin on my body. I am very good about my face, as you know. I put on all my actives, my vitamin A, my vitamin C, my sunscreen, of course. When it comes to my body, I just slap on whatever I find in my bathroom and forget about it. So I really have been trying to give the skin on my body just as much love as the skin on my face. For that reason, I purchased the Sanida Vitamin C Body Lotion. In my last What I'm Loving Right Now video, I talked about the Sanida's Vitamin C Face Lotion, which I am still loving. I just ordered another one. Because I like that one so much, I was really curious about this one. So this has Vitamin C Tetrahexyl Decal Ascorbate, which is a Vitamin C derivative. And vitamin C, as we know, is a great antioxidant. It can help brighten, it can help a bit with collagen production. Vitamin C is really crucial internally for collagen production, not so much externally, but it can help some. And also combined with our sunscreen, vitamin C can help protect us from UV radiation. So vitamin C all around a great ingredient, a great antioxidant. So this has tetrahexyl and decal, such a mouthful, ascorbate, very high up on the ingredient list. It also has squalene, which is very hydrating, shea butter, vitamin E, vitamin D. This is beautiful. It is just as beautiful as the face moisturizer. It has a lovely consistency and a little goes a long way. In fact, this is eight ounces and I've had this for about a month. I've barely made a dent. I've used about this much. So this is going to last quite a while. Regardless, I have already ordered another one because I don't want to run out, but it has a lovely consistency. And like I said, a little goes a long way. It is very hydrating, but not the slightest bit greasy. It sinks right in and then it leaves you with a bit of a glow. I don't know if you can see it. It smells really lovely. It has just a slight smell, but it smells of tangerines. <laughs> really nice. So this is a beautiful, beautiful body lotion. And like I said, I've already reordered it. So this is what I'm using during the day. And then at night, in this all out effort to give the skin on my body some more love, I have been using this right here. This is by Paula's Choice and it is her 10% alpha hydroxy acid body lotion. This is also a beautiful body lotion. It uses 10% glycolic acid and glycolic acid can help with exfoliation and cell turnover. This also has tetrahexyl decal ascorbate, so it has vitamin C, it has shea butter, it is a beautiful body lotion. It is very light in consistency and a little goes a long way. It sinks right in. It doesn't leave you greasy or anything, but it really leaves your skin feeling super soft. The only thing, it has a bit of a smell. It has a glycolic acid smell, which fades. It doesn't bother me at all, but that's the only thing I don't like about this. Aside from that, this is a beautiful body lotion. So this I have been using at night and this during the day. And by the way, a couple of you have asked to see my body care routine. If you're curious, let me know down below. I'm happy to make a video on it. And then lastly, in this all out effort, I have also changed my shower gel. I actually used to, for years, use the Everyone soap. It's just sort of a generic soap and I have the industrial size container in my shower. It's fine, it cleans my body, but it's nothing fancy. So I wanted something a bit more fancy and I ordered this. 
This is by Kopari and it is their Coconut Latte Body Wash. I love Kopari's deodorant, which is why I wanted to try this. This is amazing. In fact, the first time I used it, I thought, why are my hands feeling so soft? I wasn't used to a soap being this moisturizing. This is incredibly moisturizing. It smells delicious. If you like the smell of coconut, it definitely has a coconutty smell, sort of a coconutty latte smell, but it is really, really beautiful. This is nine ounces and same here. A little goes a long way, but I have already reordered this because I don't want to run out of it, even though I've barely made a dent. I also have already reordered this because I don't want to run out of it. And then next, in a recent Q&A video, one of you had asked me, what can you do for skin tightening? And I had talked about all the things that I know about that can be done for skin tightening, such as collagen induction therapy or microneedling, Retin-A. I also talked about how the extreme loss of collagen as we enter menopause, which is 30% loss of collagen within the first five years of menopause, how that, of course, is going to affect our skin and how hormone replacement therapy could be beneficial. I realized that hormone replacement therapy is not for everyone. So I also talked about a product which is specifically designed for what is referred to as estrogen deficient skin. Now, in the comment section of that video, we had quite a discussion going. Quite a few of you were curious about this product and asked me, had I tried it? What did I think about it? Now, I hadn't tried it because I am actually on hormone replacement therapy, but your curiosity made me curious and I really wanted to try the product so I could tell you what I thought about it. So I got the product. This is the Emmapel night cream. And Emmapel uses a fairly new ingredient called MEP. I will put the full name right here because I can't pronounce it. And MEP interacts with our estrogen receptors the same way actual estrogen does. So it helps with moisture retention, elasticity, and collagen production. But even though MAP interacts with our estrogen receptors, it is not a hormone. It does not get absorbed into the bloodstream. It very quickly gets degraded into an inactive compound and then gets excreted. So there are no hormones in here. So for those of you afraid of hormone therapy, I completely understand. This is a great alternative for estrogen deficient skin. Not only does this have MAP in it, it also has retinol. And retinol we know is a retinoid and retinoids help with collagen production. Now retinol is a fairly weak retinoid, definitely not as strong as retinoic acid or retin-A, but studies have shown that retinol helps with epidermal thickening and collagen production. So it has retinol in it. It also has niacinamide and niacinamide we know is an all around amazing ingredient, antioxidant, and it has a couple of different peptides which can help signal to our cells to get their act together and produce more collagen. So this has amazing ingredients in it. And I have to say, this is one of the most beautiful if not the most beautiful night cream I have ever used. I actually look forward to washing my face at night and putting this on. This is incredible. It has sort of a buttery balm consistency and I have been using it for about two weeks now and I have barely made a dent. A little goes a long way, which is good because this is expensive. This part is $200, which is a lot for a cream. If you think about all the ingredients it has, it could be your one and done product. You don't have to use a retinol, you don't have to use your niacinamide, your peptides. You could just use this product and be done. So if you think about it that way, it is not that expensive. It's still expensive, but it sort of helps to think about it that way. But like I said, this is really 
incredible and even though I am actually on hormone replacement therapy I will repurchase this once I'm out of it it's going to take a long time like I said a little goes a long way I think this will last me at least six months if not longer I'll keep you updated but once I'm out of this I will definitely repurchase it now it has not been long enough I have been using it like I said for two weeks I can't tell you if I see any difference other than when I wake up in the morning my skin is so plump and hydrated looking it is beautiful but aside from that I can't tell you yet if it actually helps with collagen production and I am on hormone replacement therapy I have been for almost 14 years so I don't know if I'm actually going to see a difference regardless like I said I am going to repurchase this because it is beautiful they also have a serum which I use during the day it is also incredible this I'm in love with the serum is amazing but I like this even better so for those of you who have been curious about this like I said it is amazing I think I will make a separate video on these products because the technology behind it is quite fascinating and I'd love to talk more about the trials they did but I just wanted to mention it since quite a few of you were curious about it so this is really really beautiful I will repurchase it but like I said it is too soon to tell if I can actually see a difference all right next I just recently made a video on all the skincare tools I have accumulated over the last couple of years. In fact, there were so many of them, I had to break the video into two parts. If you haven't seen them, I will link them down below. But after making the video, I thought, this is it. I don't ever need another skincare tool again. Well, guess what? I bought another one. I think I have a problem. It is this one right here by Osmosis and it is the epic skin tool now the reason i bought this is that well first of all like i said i think i have a problem i need a support group but if you have been with me for a while you know i love medical microneedling i have medical microneedled for almost 11 years i do it once a month it has done wonders for my skin but i have always been curious about nano needling now, nanoneedling and microneedling are quite different, and I will make a separate video on the differences between nanoneedling and microneedling. But like I said, I have always been curious about nanoneedling. The machine I use for microneedling, I use the Dominator, doesn't allow me to nanoneedle, so that is why I wanted a nanoneedling tool. Now, even though it is called nanoneedling, there are no actual needles involved, unlike with microneedling, where there are micro needles. So this just uses these little cones, and then these two balls move independently of each other. And the way you use it is you glide this down your skin, and these balls grab your skin, which is kind of cool, and then the little cones gently drive into your skin and what that does first of all it helps with circulation which of course in turn helps improve overall skin health it also helps with product penetration so osmosis says that this can help your products penetrate 30 percent deeper so that's not bad i have been addicted to this little guy i use it morning and night it is really fun to use and it's quite fast it takes about two minutes it is actually quite intense i get very pink after which again is the improved circulation so a good thing for skin health i can't tell if it has done anything yet to improve the overall health of my skin i have been using it for about two weeks now but like i said i am addicted to this little guy it is so fun to use and as I said also, I will make a separate video on nanoneedling versus microneedling. But this is definitely something I have been loving lately. It's another reason why I look forward to washing my face at night, putting on my serums, and then using this. By the way, I always forget to mention that, of course, everything I am talking about is linked down below in the description box. And for some of these things, I was able to get you a discount code unfortunately not for all of them but at least for some of them another thing i am really loving right now 
is this little jumpsuit I'm wearing. I actually have not bought myself any clothing for quite a while because first of all, why? I haven't really left my house this whole last year. And also, I don't really enjoy buying clothing so much. I much prefer buying skincare and skincare tools. But with summer coming and us moving soon, I wanted to get a couple of items. So I bought this little jumpsuit right here. I saw it and I fell in love with it. I actually had a very similar jumpsuit when I was a teenager. It was the same color. It was almost identical aside from the back. I will put a little video right here so you can see it because if I get up, you won't see much. But you can see how cute it is in the back with a little crisscross. It is made from rayon. It is very, very soft, extremely comfortable. I don't even want to take it off. I feel like I'm wearing pajamas. Another thing, aside from it being so comfortable, I love about it is that I could dress it up, which probably won't happen too much, but I could. I could wear some nice jewelry with it, some high heels and dress it up, or I can dress it down with flip-flops or sneakers. So I am really loving this little jumpsuit. And then another item I got is, and all the items I'm showing you are from Prana. Now, I have no affiliation with Prana at all, but I have been buying probably the majority of my clothing from them for the last decade or so, because first of all, they have just very cute items and also everything they have on the website, or almost everything, is extremely versatile. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can hike or run or work out with it, like this skirt right here. This is a little black mini skirt. So again, I can dress this up, I can dress it down, I can break out into a run with it because it is actually a skirt. It has the little shorts underneath it, but you can't see them when you're wearing it. So I thought this was really cute and very versatile. Also, another thing about Prana clothing is that you can just roll all this stuff up and put it in a backpack, travel with it. It doesn't wrinkle. It is extremely light and very easy to take care of. I probably have about five of these already because Prana has had these squads for years. I have them in different colors. This is the first black one I got. So I really like this a lot. And then the last thing I got are these pants. Now, for me, it has to be comfortable above everything else. I really like the look of jeans, but I do not like wearing jeans. I just find them so uncomfortable. So for me, it has to be comfortable. If it looks good on top of that, that is of course a plus. But these pants, I think, look good and they're super comfortable. Again, I can dress these up, I can dress them down, I can go for a run or hike in them. They are the same material as the squad. Again, I can just roll these up, throw them in a backpack. They don't wrinkle. I do not like to iron my clothes. This one wrinkles a little bit. This is really something I don't normally get. Normally, it's these sort of clothes for me that are very easy to take care of. But so these things I just recently got and I love them. If you are like me, and comfort is really important, but you also, of course, want your clothes to look somewhat cute and you want them to be versatile, check out Prana. They have really great stuff and they also have a lot of very beautiful yoga clothing and other active wear. So, loving these. And then lastly, I just have a bit of entertainment, which I have really been enjoying. One of it, actually, my husband and I have been enjoying together and that is the show A Million Little Things. Quite a few of you had recommended it, but the reason it took us so long to finally watch it is that every time I told my husband, let's watch this show, so many of my viewers say it's a great show, he would look at the thumbnail and say, this looks so boring. So finally, a couple of weeks ago, he said, all right, let's watch one episode and now he's hooked. So a million little things, really good show. Thank you so much for recommending it. And then by myself, my husband refuses to watch it. I have been watching Firefly Lane, 
which I really enjoy. In fact, I just finished it and I'm looking forward to the second season. I was a bit disappointed when it stopped. I didn't know there were only, I think it was eight episodes, but a really good show about two girlfriends and their relationship throughout their life. Then I also have been reading a book one of you recommended called The Great Alone. In fact, you have recommended some amazing books. I have a list going. I want to get through all of them. But this one is called The Great Alone. It's about a family migrating to Alaska and their struggles living in Alaska. The dad has very bad PTSD and is not the kindest man. So how the daughter and the wife are dealing with the dad and also with living in Alaska. It's a really good book. I'm about halfway through, so thank you for recommending it. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to know down below in the comments about anything you have been enjoying lately. Doesn't matter what it is. Movies, shows, books, skincare, tools, clothing, food, doesn't matter. Share down below, spread the joy. Any questions or comments, of course, leave them down below. I always love to hear from you. And I always so appreciate the time you spent with me. Thank you so, so much for being here. Until next time, bye.